Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, we on the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Are we making way? Get out the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move. Get out the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out the way. Get out the way. Cause we on the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Cause we on the way. I knew I was gonna see a can. 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 JC, bring it in. Let me get the evidence bag over here. Uh, you know, I'll get this thing started. I don't really want to waste a lot of you guys' time today. Uh, salute to everybody. You know, you know, guys know who I am by now. I got something in this bag. JC, we need to talk. The reason why we need to talk is because 33, 33 is a very important number. Did you tell Surf you was going to whoop his ass 33 times, bro? Now, whether you did, whether it was 33 or whether it was 23, you told him you was going to whoop his YouTube be censorship. Whoop his beep, whoop his beep, whoop his ass a lot. And I seen the reason why I'm making this blog, you know what I'm saying? I do got I got something for you in here, you know what I'm saying? I We're gonna we gonna get to that later. We're gonna get to that, right? I'm gonna put this to the side for now, right? So I saw salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap. Um I saw a post, and I know they do really good work at this. They watch all of the blogs, they watch all of the uh, media. And they'll take the best parts and they make these cue cards out of them. And it says, JC says that the room, that was not the room he was expecting, a room where nobody wants to hear but who they want to hear. Now, I'm. Yo, you can hear a pin drop. Yo, that ass go. Yo. You can hear the drop. Surf just 30 JC and 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 nobody is 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 batting an eye. Nobody is celebrating. Er, everybody, nobody celebrating. It was, it was gun, gun, we supposed to be like gun titles got the win, like like one two one two. Nothing. You just heard a ping. Did somebody come in and and do something like some? Somebody did something, but you can hear a pin drop. My nigga, I feel like that's a great bar for what we Yo, it was a it was a body for gun titles, and and it wasn't even a it it's it's quiet. It is quiet. Break this down, right? I, I want and this is this is I mute. You know what I'm saying? Like you good. I don't got no issue with you. You know what I'm saying? I rock with JC. But I want to tell you where you went wrong in this scenario. So if you're ever afforded to be in this position again, you can capitalize off the opportunity. So um, you went wrong in a number of ways. I'm going to tell you the first way that you went wrong, right? Number one, you played Surf's game. Surf's game has always been to control the narrative. He controls it in all aspects, all levels. He'll make you believe that it's Smack, Beasley, Chico, and him that's in charge. Once they kick Nobs out the whip, Surf is now the new boss with Beasley, Smack, Chico, and these niggas. Like, he's the fourth one member, right? He'll, you believe that. This is my league. I run shit. I'm the reason. They, they got stumbles off the card and shit. This nigga was strong enough to get him off. I don't know if he got him off. Then the nigga Beasley comes. It's a safety concern. But I want to tell you where you went wrong. You played his game, right? So, how did he play his game? We have never, ever, 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 and I've been covering battle rap for over five or six years now. I've got a thousand videos on here. I've probably seen every single JC battle that has happened, small league to big league, for the past 10 years. So I can really be honest when I say, I've never seen JC with a piece of designer gear on before. I've never, never, never. I don't, you're, not, you're not the type. I don't know you for rocking Gucci, Dior, Hermes, Balenciaga, uh, fucking, I don't know you for that, right? You're on stage with an Amiri sweater on, which is cool, but the sweater is too big. You had like a 3X on, my nigga. You needed like a medium or small. 
Nobody wears big designer, my nigga. Nobody. I don't know no nigga that rock designer whose designer shit is baggy, right? And that, you're playing into Surf's hand. Because you're wearing designer, and he's not even on stage wearing designer. But he talked you into it by saying, spend your money right. You ain't got teeth. You don't got that. He made you believe that going and wearing that. And if you battle, if JC was up there battling Lux, he wouldn't have had no one on Mary shit. If he was up there battling against Suge, if he was up there battling against Rock, if he was up there battling against any other niggas on that card, he would not have been on stage with no Cartiers and no Amiri's on. Period. And then the baggy joint. You should, if you're gonna wear it, you gotta wear it right. You can't wear it and then wear it baggy, my nigga. Like, that shit probably fit me. And I wear a large, extra large. I guarantee you, I fit that sweater. Send me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got 120 bands, my nigga. We can work it out. Let me know the price. You can sign it and sell it to me, and I'll wear it. I won't wear it. I buy it, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, they was, you know, niggas like, oh, it's neon. You look like the flag of workers. I like the bright colors, so I'm not mad at that, but it was just too big. So that was the second mistake that you made. And the third mistake was expecting something. An expectation you will always get let down. You said, and I quote, right? JC says that was not the room he was expecting. Let's just stop there. Why You can't have expectations going into a battle about how the crowd is going to be or about how the room is going to be or about how any of that shit is. When you're battling against Sue Surf, who I said in the beginning of this, has to control the narrative and everything about it, how many times did he use the word narrative against you inside the face-off? How many times did he use it? Huh? Okay. And then he got you so uptight that the only thing that you could go back in the beginning of your face off, you was making moves. You was you was you was dancing. You know, telling them, uh, how did you join AFB? I joined AFB the same way you joined the 60s. That's how I joined it. Oh, okay, surf said he runs this. Now nah, you're gonna walk today. You had us believing. But the thing was, you bought into his game. It happens all the time. So check this out, right? I want to go even further. You had an expectation of a room. You shouldn't have had an expectation of a room. Your expectation should have been in there to came, come in there and bomb on all syllables, all levels, regardless. Because there was a lot of niggas out there who got booed last night. Now, the crowd was not the greatest. I'm going to hold you. The crowd was not the greatest. They were very restless. And it didn't even seem to me like they were upstanding all day and all night. Because I've heard of URL events. And I've been to ones that take hours to get in. you standing up four or five hours before somebody raps. I did not get that vibe or that feeling, and Showtime SP didn't tell me that, and he was there. So, uh, you, you, you came in with an expectation. I don't think you should have had an expectation. I think your expectation should have been in there to come in there and bomb and wild out. Your first round, you had raps. I like the way your first round was put together schematically, uh, when it comes to the wordplay, when it came to the multis, when it came to the punches, when everything that you had, I loved what you had in your first round. But the problem is when you're battling, I keep saying this. Why do I have to keep saying this shit? I don't understand why I have to keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. And these niggas just don't listen. But guess what? Fuck it. I'm not going to be mad. They stayed for it, and I get paid for it. So I'm going to just keep on saying the same shit over and over. Somebody's going to get it. So you had a very fast, like, you know, schematic approach. You're bombing, and I was like, yeah, I like what you was doing. But Surf comes out, and he just diffuses it so quick. Would you call it AMG mode? Just diffuses it so quick. You go this way, this go that way. Y'all choreographed the titles, how to get in the car. And then, like, you spit all of them rhymes, right? And he literally just just negates it. I was spinning in the rain by myself like a Marion. Like, oh God, oh, whoa, whoa. He said, find out it's party time. Go and hit the party line. I was spinning in the rain by myself like a Marion. Those are big stage moments, my nigga. You need moments. You're not gonna be so served without no fucking moments. I, got, I still got this shit for you right here. You're not beating Dear battle rappers, I don't give a fuck who you are, so fuck who you are. I don't care about a pretty bitch, watch your car. I don't care about your block and whoever you shot, and I don't care about your album and whatever it dropped. I don't care about your past. If I did, I would've asked. You are not going to beat, shout out Styles P for that verse. You're not going to beat Sue Surf without no fucking moments. I don't care who it is. In them big stages, now you'll get him in a small room. Like how when he battled against Lux, or he battled against 40, if he don't give a fuck, he's not working as hard as he should be, Echo, whatever the case may be. But you're not going to beat him in a small room, in a big stage where the crowd is there, mostly for him any fucking way. He sells out the card. You're not going to beat him 
with just rudimentary material. In some instances, niggas are saying Cortez brought better shit to surf than you did. You know? Let's let the purge begin. You know what I mean, like, it's one night to fuck up neighborhood. Let's let the purge. You had you didn't even really have no personals. I thought I was gonna hit some crazy wave flips, some crazy surf flips, some crazy. I thought you was gonna do that. I just the second and third round, you went back to that. I know one line, one line flow. And then it got so crazy that Surf took your shit and used it against you. I know. It's like, bro, no, no, no. He went so crazy on you after his second round, this nigga was ready to leave. He told Smack, do I got to stay here? He can just do whatever he want. I, do I even have to stay? Nigga was ready to leave. The nigga had rolling out the next day. You're not going to be the nigga who's on rolling loud without no moments, man. I'm sorry. It ain't happening. I don't give a shit. Y'all could battle five times this week, and you will not win none of them. Battling with no moments. You need bombs, my nigga. You came with a spitball gun, and this nigga had bombs, rockets. Do we have a fucking problem? And you said it. Thir thir How many times did you say? I'm not going to watch it again, but you told him you was going to whoop his ass in a lot. Like, every, after a while, like, he's sitting there eating the potato chips, right? This nigga Surf had one bag of potato chips for, like, 45 minutes. They, they said he broke them up. I think it was Coach Coleone. Shout out to, you know, Rare Breed. He said he broke them up like how you give the toddlers the chips, and then you have mad little ones. You got to stretch the work. Y'all niggas got kids. Y'all niggas ain't never stretched no work. Y'all niggas ain't never stressed. Stop fucking playing with me. You need to stretch work. You got to get a kid some chips. So, um... That was the next mistake that you made, you know what I'm saying? You expect, you had an expectation, and you didn't have moments for somebody that's as big as Sue Surf. You can't not have moments, my nigga. Like, it's just not gonna work. That lyrical, that rap is cool, but he said a room where nobody wants to hear but who they want to hear. It was mad niggas who went up before you that night. Mad niggas. Niggas was getting booed. Shotgun Shug versus Chess, niggas got booed. Chess got booed, not Shug. Uh, the Zila Flip, the first niggas, booed. Uh, who else got booed? Fine shit, niggas got booed. Rock, niggas got booed. Uh, niggas was getting booed in every battle. So that's not even really like they want to hear who they want to hear. You can't tell me that at least 90% of them niggas there didn't want to hear Rock. They booed him because he took a bad angle and was talking about niggas in the South in the South. You can't do that. I'm not going to New York and talking about chopped cheese, talking about Harlem, talking about niggas ain't got no money because they riding the train. Why would I do that in New York? I'm gonna get booed. I turned the crowd against him. When it came to you and Surf, man, I had big expectations. I did have Surf winning. I didn't think he would like clear you like this. I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think he would like smoke you, but I'm gonna be honest. The nigga smoked you. Like, it's no knock, I ain't hating. No. 